Hey guys, what up? It's Idea Rishi back here with another video, and yeah, this is a new PC build which I'm doing for this week, and it's like I wanted to make like a super budget build, which is like around twenty five thousand ish. So from so from my previous forty thousand build, I know some people liked it, so I thought I'll go even more budget and see what else I can do to make it even more attractive this PC, and yeah, so for twenty five thousand bucks, this PC is gonna rock your games, or at least. some games you turn okay leave it let's get right to the build okay so for around 25000 bucks it's very hard to find your own uh, separate case and power supply which will cost a little bit too much and go out of the budget so i wanted to find like a case and power supply combo so i tried to search on amazon i couldn't find any uh, anything good uh, i tried to search on uh, the it depot they had some Okay stuff, but not from any reputable brand. They were all like from Eyeball or from some company which I've never heard of, like Mercury. So I, I wasn't sure, and then for other separate power supply, I couldn't find. So I went with the Zebronix uh, case and power supply combo. It comes with a 450 watt power supply. It's around 1,999 rupees, but basically 2,000 bucks. So it's I've seen the reviews for this power supply. It's actually quite good for 450 watts. They say it's quite good. So I read reviews everywhere. They're like, it's okay, but you have to upgrade it. So that was the that would be my first thing to upgrade if you are going to do anything with this PC to upgrade the power supply. Cause who knows? What if it just explodes? Like, <laughs> yeah. So I would recommend upgrading power supply. And yeah, this is a pretty solid case. It has full black interior, fully black. So not a bit racist, but it's quite cool. So it's a very neat little case and power supply combo. So that's the one. Now for uh, the processor of this build, I went with the AMD APU A10 7850K. So this processor is no ordinary processor, since it costs like pretty penny, twelve thousand bucks. So with this, I with this processor, it's actually quite cool because you get a quad core processor at first. So that's a bonus. You get a quad core processor. You get internal graphics which are like not your intel i gpu or anything but this gpu is like really good cuz it contains eight com eight graphic cores of r7250 so it's quite cool and it's actually quite a good performer also in games so if you game on 720p which i think most indians do at least i do i game at 720p and it's actually quite good for those kind of resolutions you can game at high settings on some games and you can also uh, game on 1080p from low to medium settings around uh, 35 frames depending on your memory speed because since your gpu on the cpu day doesn't have any ram it needs fast ram of uh, to access so depending on the speed of your ram the frames per second will increase or be low this processor actually quite good for the price and we don't need a another discrete graphics card but this processor does allow for future upgrades so if you want to upgrade to a R7250 you can put in dual graphics with your processor so for the motherboard i want i went with the Asus A68 chipset motherboard cuz literally it's quite a good motherboard all i was just searching for is a FM2 plus motherboard cuz FM2 plus APUs will fit in FM2 plus Boards, but FM2 plus CPUs won't fit in FM2 boards, so you have to be careful and check for that. And uh, this A68 chipset is like okay, it's a budget chipset, so that would be another upgrade to you would up. Uh, I would recommend you could upgrade to a A88X, so that would be like better. Uh, but this motherboard is actually quite cool because it has USB 3, it has two RAM slots because. actually yeah that's it it's quite a good motherboard and you can do some overclocking on your cpu and gpu now ram was little bit tricky because i was trying to search for a little bit higher speed than usual like i didn't want to go with 1600 megahertz so i decided okay fine i i i'm not going to spend 5000 rupees on 8 gigabytes of ram that's 2133 megahertz so i'll stick with in between which is 1866 megahertz ram that is hyperx uh, 4 gb ram stick so you can go with two of that and then you'll be around 2000 ish bucks but it's actually quite good cuz 
you need more ram speed for the apu cuz your gpu cores need lot of speed so if you go with like 2400 megahertz that's like boss so if you go with 2400 you can get like insane uh, not insane but you'll get better uh, performance in games like uh, battlefield 4 you'll increase around another 10 frames per second or 5 frames depends depends on the games you played it can easily increase so for the hard drive i went with the western digital caviar blue 1 terabyte hard drive cuz i know you're like why did you spend 3000 on a hard drive you should have gone with some 320 gigabyte hard drive ah uh, i saved see this is why i went with 1866 ram i didn't want to spend like less on your hard drive and uh, get only 320 gigabytes cuz then you'll be like hardly it's like it's not that much space so i saved some money in the ram side and i got a killer hard drive i mean like i always use this hard drive it's like boss But how will you upgrade this pc it's very easy very simple since you have 25000 rupees and you built yourself one amazing pc or you're just seeing this video for fun this pc actually is very upgradable in the future so you could so first thing i would recommend is upgrade that power supply please I know I know in probably few months will probably burst like that so it's quite scary if you want like a cheap budget supply uh, power supply you can go with the deep cool power supply they have 400 watt it's actually quite good for 2000 bucks just 2000 rupees more you get 80 plus gold efficiency for 2000 rupees 400 watt power supply i mean like deep cool is like boss and if you are planning to do any overclocking on your apu i would recommend getting master hyper 212 evo i know everyone is using that power supply sorry not power supply uh, air cooler it's but it's such a good budget air cooler i mean like for around 2000 bucks or 3000 you can get an amazing overclock on your cpu and for your graphics you must be wondering okay i can't stay with this graphics forever my onboard graphics so what do i get you can basically since this motherboard supports dual graphics with your apu you can go with the r7 250 graphics card but i wouldn't recommend getting that since you would spend like around 8000 9000 rupees depending or maybe lesser i don't know about to raise pricing i'll just link it in the description but the only performance benefit you get is like 10 frames per second or something like that and it's like too expensive for like 10 frames per second more So what I would recommend is you either save your money and get some uh, get get this graphics card R7 260X or the 360 or the R9 270 or the R7 370 because those graphics card are quite good and will accelerate your performance. So you'll get like at least 60 frames per second in 1080p. You can on medium to high settings, 60 frames per second. That's like. That that's what people usually have. No, on their panel they have a full HD 60 hertz monitor. Actually, for the hard drive, if you don't want to use the hard drive and you hard and you don't store that much data on on your computer and you have somewhere else to store your games and all, I would recommend instead of getting hard drive, get the SSD, A data SSD. It's amazing, amazing performance for the dollar, not dollar, rupee. So I would recommend getting that if you don't want the hard drive. So totally, this PC b- budget build will come ar- around twenty-four-ish thousand rupees, twenty-four thousand eight hundred and something rupees, eight hundred seventy-four. So it's quite a good budget build. It can easily outperform your console, depending on what settings you play, what games you play, and all that. But yeah, it's quite a upgradable PC and bang for the buck PC. I mean, twenty-five thousand bucks, quite good. So you tell me in the comments what you think about this whole PC, whether you like it or not, whether you say ah your PC sucks or something like that, and yeah, just tell me. And if if you want to see any more budget builds around, uh, even more budget builds, or you want to see like full setup builds or or extremely high budget builds, see a VR build. Just drop it in the comments. Anything, anything you want to see related to computers and any other. Uh, technology stuff just drop it in the comments i'll make sure to get back to it and yeah see you guys in the next video peace